there yarn lovers it's Gary and I'm not in my living room anymore right now I'm here on Vancouver Island at a lake and enjoying a beautiful 28 degrees Celsius day so nice nice and hot I just dunked into the water and have dried off and I'm ready to go back in again but I thought I'd just jump in here real quick just to let everyone know that uh, I haven't forgotten about my Yarny community I've pre-recorded some of the videos that are coming out slowly and you'll see one I believe this Wednesday which is in about two three days and I'll be back home doing some more of my videos coming very very soon I've I've brought along with me on this trip some of my knitting and crocheting which I haven't got around to cracking into but hopefully with a couple of early morning uh, get ups that I wake up before everyone else does I can uh, jump in there and do a couple of rounds of knit or crochet. Hey there yarn lovers, it's Gary and I'm coming to you from my living room in Vancouver, Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Saturday, July 25th, 2020 and this is video number 65. I added a small snippet of where hubby and I was uh, last week for about five days. We went back over to Vancouver Island and found a cabin by a lake and stayed there for five days. It was beautiful weather, 26 to 28 degrees Celsius. I don't, don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it was sunny and I got myself a little bit of a tan, which was great. And you'll see hubby floating on the uh, floaty uh, on the lake with his his mum, so my stepmother. Hi mama, how you doing? And we spent some time with the folks and with uh, hubby's uh, brother and family, which was really, really nice and a relaxing time. Got back home and yeah, I have something beside me to, to showcase some happy mail. But before I get stuck into that, if you're just new to the channel, hi, my name's Gary, I'm the host of Urban Yarn and I set this channel up to talk about my yarn journey. That's everything, uh, knit, crochet, hand dyeing, acquisitions of my materials. I review um, stuff that I purchase and points of purchase. So I hope that you'll enjoy the, the content. And if you do so like the content, please give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing. And to all of my fiber friends, welcome back. So yeah, let's backtrack here. I would say probably about a week and a half ago, I received an email from someone that we all know and love here on YouTube. And Crystal from Bag of Day reached out to me. I was absolutely floored. I'm kind of shaking here right now because I'm so excited and speechless uh, with everything that has transpired. And um, Crystal is just the most kindest, uh, person that I have met in a very, very long time. Uh, so through the kindness of her, her heart, she's reached out and she's basically asked for my mailing address to send me some yarn. I guess a while back I was mentioning that our Walmart wasn't having a certain, I guess, mandala ombre and we didn't have a sale on. So I kind of walked out empty handed. So I guess that sparked up uh, something within Crystal to uh, reach out. So hi Crystal, I absolutely am excited about the happy mail that you sent me. It feels like I've won one of your amazing prizes. So here it is here. I've popped open the top as you can tell and all of the yarn is just wanting to spring out. It's threatening to kind of like <laughs> bounce out. I have had a little sneak peek off the top layer as well and uh, yeah I'm just absolutely flawed and speechless uh, so I'm gonna share with you exactly what I have received from Crystal um, I asked her whether I could send her some yarn that I have in my stash to uh, to do a bit of a yarn swap and she said no but I wasn't going to take no for an answer. So I sent her some of the things that, um, that I feel that she would love in her collection as well. Some things that perhaps maybe she would not be able to find, uh, being within the United States. Uh, so I've done a little, I have a little bit of a feeling that she will appreciate some of the finds and that I'm sharing with her from my stash. So yeah. Here we go. 
So I'm going to put this on the on the ground here so I can reach in and grab it. It is awesome. Like I words didn't they escape me right now. I I don't even know how to begin to uh, say thank you and all of the stuff that's in here is well and truly above and beyond. And what I can tell right now by looking down at the first layer is that there are several layers, is that um, I don't see anything that I have in my stash currently. So, and I don't think I've ever used any of these yarns that I see right now on top. So let's begin. <sighs> kind of shaking here. So, uh, okay, I see the second layer now that I've pulled these out. So uh, this is Line Brands, uh, the next, next, best thing or next best thing and uh, it is a lightweight three yarn and I've got three skeins of this in the colorway let's have a look it's called cool ice and they smell amazing and I know crystal that you keep your yarn in pristine condition so there's they look like they're just brand new from the store. This particular yarn is super soft and I have enough here to make a shawl or combine it with another yarn that's of the same weight or even a different weight. Um, yeah, it's in this wonderful color. I love all those blues. That is amazing. So I've got three of those and Oh my god, I just I'm exposing more of the second layer as I pull out more. So I don't want to jump ahead of myself, but this this is just even more than I ever expected. So we have comfy cotton in a solid blue, and the colorway here is called Spectrum. So in amongst our communications, Crystal was really really kind in asking like what kind of yarn what other yarns i could not find up here in canada not just the ombres the mandala ombres and uh what colorways i enjoyed the most now i felt kind of a little bit um i guess you know conscientious of answering the first part of the question and i don't really know the so many of the collections out there that we don't get but um so i wasn't comfortable in answering the first part of her question but i really did love uh certain colorways so i said anything rich green or mustard so this is definitely the rich color there absolutely stunning i love them they smell great they feel Amazing. This one you could actually put against your skin with no undergarments required. <laughs> so, and they could even be blended together. They're very complementary. So, yeah. Then I have the Mandala Roving. I have two cakes in that. And the colorway is Tartan. And I know Crystal rated this as one of her favorite top 10 recently in her uh, favorite yarn. So I have never used this and I don't have it in my stash. So I am really, really thrilled to try this. Maybe uh, choose this as the first one that I, I make something with. Absolutely soft and a lovely colorway. Love them. Centers matching too. Thank you so much, Crystal. Then another one that I see here on top is one that I have never used before or seen uh, in my own store. And it's called The Winter Nights. And it's also from Lion Bran. And it is in this mint pale green color with specks of uh, sequins. It's, a, it's got a little bit of halo on it, and it is in the colorway Empower Mint. 
So an interesting play on words there. Love that it's really, really soft. I see this being uh, something in, uh, inspired by snow or the glistening of snow or dew on uh, on like a large field or something like that. That would be a great snow or a uh, lacy shawl for sure and would add a nice piece to anyone's outfit. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. A lot of these are lime brands and honestly for a Canadian who is going to uh, make good use of sales from limebrand.com uh, we in Canada have to pay quite a hefty shipping cost and looking at the box docket as well this box that Crystal sent was was phenomenally expensive so I do appreciate all of the selected yarns that you have put in here because us yarny people we love the thought behind uh, someone else uh, offering such a kind gift uh, of yarn and it really speaks to us and your choices crystal have been spot-on amazing so let's get stuck into some of these mandala ombres which are the uh, I guess the crux of our conversation and why it started off in the beginning look at those they are amazing they're like jeans washy uh, like a stone wash feel to the colorway uh, so it does it's not a full saturation of dye it shows a bit of the base uh, fiber underneath of the yarn so I really really like that and just the amazing kind of work up here on the label gives you these stripy effects. And this colorway here is Felicity. Yep, they're both the same. Love those. Oh my God, it's, okay. These ombres, they go on for two layers here. So I don't know whether I can hold them all up at once, but uh, there seems to be another three here with joy is this one here and that's the colorway that it works up in so that's joy the neat neat thing about these ombres is that you can actually put them together as well uh, so here's another joy one here so and it's this is felicity so we have these two they could easily work up together in a piece and I could blend them as well to get uh, a larger garment but three in each that's a big start to quite a big project that I can make um, oh it's another color here so here's another joy and another colorway here I love that one that is just delicious they're super soft and you don't need any undergarments uh, to wear with this particular yarn at all this one's called chai that is probably my favorite they're all my favorites but I think I'm this one is calling to me to make something first with it so I guess I got three Wow <laughs> I got three. Oh my God, I'm just shaking here. It's, this is such a kind, kind gesture. Thank you so much, Crystal. This is above and beyond. Here is another type of mandala, which I've seen other people looking um, through their shelves when they do uh, walk through different stores. I believe it was Walmart that I saw a couple of shoppers videos and they were showcasing the mandala water watercolors and super super soft oh my goodness I love it this one feels more like a wool base than the other ombre because it has uh, well it has so many things that's packed into this cake. It sort of looks slightly roving 
it kind of looks like it's got that jean uh, stone wash feel and it has uh, a wool factor to it as well so and it's quite light there's so many pluses on on the watercolor uh, series from Mandela that I've not I've not uh, felt before until right now so the colorway for these three is called quarry absolutely stunning got three of those oh my goodness I have no more room on the coffee table okay so I recognize this one I uh, <laughs> look at the huge ball of this yarn I love this color it's the it's a mustard and uh, it's called butternut I have two butternut in my collection and uh, I was planning to make a cardigan with a hoodie and I had two butternut and I have uh, two like a rusty brown color and it was not going to be enough for me to make the hoodie without using the two color so now with this extra skein of butternut I can I can now do the hoodie all in this muster color without using the second color and uh, that just makes it easier for designing so I don't have to think about what color sits on top which one, which color will be the hoodie I'm just going to use the whole muster color and can start that project so thank you for that Ooh, I see so many in here that I have never uh, tried before this one is Kramer yarns in kind of a goldy mustard color like a yellow with specks in it and it's uh, a worsted weight yarn and it is what else can I tell you about this the colorway name is called harvest gold and I would agree that is definitely autumnal and it has uh, gold and specks of brown in there so and a slight sheen as well I really like that that's lovely I can't wait to try this another one here called uh, from Kramer yarns as well so this is a company I've never heard of before or tried their yarns so I think I'm gonna really love working something up in this one too like a hat or a I think that hat, hat or, or color work in something. It's a kind of a mild type yarn in a bulky five. And the colorway is called South Mountain Rag, like a uh, South Mountain Rag, R-A-G-G. -G. I'm not sure whether that's the name of a mountain or the rag is a style of, of uh, of twist in the yarn I really like that so soft all of these are so soft so far oh I see one that's not even opened and it is in this kind of a more I see a grayish green tinge to this like an aqua it might be the bag I'm not sure because the bag has color to it as well oh that's super soft so it's another Mandela Ombre, I believe. Ombre, yes. And the colorway is called uh, Zen. Awesome. I love that. So I have, holy smokes, I have so many Ombres. There's like three in, like three of each cake in four colorways. Wow, that is incredible. But there's more. There's way, way more. I don't have to go shopping now for the rest of the year. I have enough here to get me through Christmas. And the way that this box was packed was brilliant. I did not think that there would be this much yarn in that, in that box. The, the box was big to begin with, but the packing skills involved in getting all of this yarn in the box is just amazing. So I have, do 
Did I just drop one? Huh. I have three cakes of comfy cotton, which uh, I have used comfy cotton before, but this one's called the Fetty, like com comfy cotton Fetty. And it's a play on words there, I guess, with confetti because it, the labels look like it's got confetti on it. And another, th this is another Lion Brands, 50% uh, acrylic, 50% uh, um, cotton, and the colorway is called Green Velvet. I love that. Really, really soft. It's a finer three, like a, it's actually a light three. It may be even a slightly lighter than three, but I love the colors. And I'm looking right now at, sorry, I'm moving the camera, looking right now at these two, blending them somehow. Uh, that would make an interesting project. The mint and the, uh, this green confetti or cotton fetti in the green velvet. Love those. Uh, I see some sparkle in here. So again, Lion Brands and this is their Boogie Nights. So definitely a throwback to the 70s. And this yarn, now that I touch it, I, I have heard of this, I don't have any in my stash, but now that I see it firsthand, it's very spongy. So they use a Stellina, which is the, uh, I guess the sparkly bit, a thread and wrap it around uh, the bulk of the, the yarn. So I don't know what it's made out of. It's called Royal Flush and to give, oh, it's 100% polyester. So that is really, really soft and bouncy yarn. I have a feeling making the, working this up, it might be a bit springy. So um, it could help with a garment that needs to be quite spongy or um, bouncy. So if you're making a fabric that needs to be bouncy, this would be my port of call for, for yarn of choice. I absolutely love that. Uh, I see more sparkly, so I'm on it. On it, I'm definitely going picking right now through similar uh, skeins here. This one is called Date Night, and this one is in the colorway Zircon. So it's like a silver with a little bit of the uh, Stellina th running through it. I think it's called Stellina, and it is. 82 acrylic and 18 polyester. Really, really soft yarn. I I'm, haven't used any of these before, so I'm so, so eager to get stuck into them. And that would be kind of like in the same kind of style of maybe a shawl, a wrap, something evening wear would be great with the sparkly ones. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Okay, this throws me back to the 70s as well. So, us being kids of the 70s, me and my siblings, our parents dressed us in what they used to call velour, uh, velour outfits. So we had uh, kind of this felty feel, plush felty feel to our clothes. And it's kind of like in a colorway that would be like uh, something that my parents would dress us kids in. And it's called Nap Time, and it's from it's from Lion Brand as well. And the colorway is navy. I got three skeins of those. So wow, very plush. Definitely makes me feel uh, my younger years when I was growing up. So it's a great reminder of that. Okay, the next thing, I've seen this being unboxed by people as well. Um, I saw Crystal unboxing this too. And it's the Lion Brands Landscapes Fusion. And it is a bulky five, I believe. No, it's a four weight. And it's a mal, 
of two strands and I believe they may have gotten their inspiration from their landscapes because it's called Landscapes Fusion. So maybe they've taken two colorways of their landscapes and uh, mild them together. It's very, very soft. Kind of reminds me a little bit also of spun colors or colors, no, spun colors from Premiere. And this colorway is called Fort Tryon or Trion. Love those. Oh my God. Put those down there in another box while I'm talking to you about the other, the other things. Okay, Lime Brands ice cream. And it's a variegated yarn. And I'm not too sure whether, until I work it up, whether it's a self-striping or a, a pooling yarn, which gives you some kind of diamond shapes or uh, perhaps maybe a um, plaid. So I'm not too sure whether these are striping or not. It's in the colorway blueberry. Love those, That's super, super soft. So kind of you, Crystal. Oh my God, just so much here. And the very last thing, Oh, this is really nice too. It's called Low Tide and it's from Lime Brand as well called and in the colorway Coast and it is a it's a chain spun yarn which uh, gives it that airy quality because it is quite a light yarn and uh, in weight I mean it's like it doesn't weigh heavy and it's a four weight yarn but I have a feeling that once it's worked up, it will probably act more like a three weight yarn. But I love, I love that color too, the neutrals. Super soft and no undergarments required. Wow. So that ends the show and tell of the yarn that Crystal from Bag of Day sent me. And I am so, so thrilled with all of it. It was, wasn't was necessary to go above and beyond, but I do appreciate all of the yarn and I'm set for a very, very long time with trying all these new yarns out. Um, I can't wait over the course of the next few months, like maybe six, seven months, to slowly work my way through these for projects as gifts, for donation pieces, uh, for myself, for hubby and I am really really loving all of these yarns and the ombre the whole reason that we connected was the ombre thank you so much so that concludes the showcasing of my amazing happy mail for the month it's really made my month uh, and along with some other things that have happened this month, I am having the best possible July um, that I can even imagine. Even with quarantining and all of the self-distancing, I have been blessed with so many fortunate things that are going on right now. And, uh, and yeah, so thank you, thank you so much. And for everyone who has been watching, thank you for being watching this uh, far into the video. I will be coming back with some more episodes of work that I'm working on and finished. So looking forward to that and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye for now.